Hello Bay. This boat is 21 foot 4 inches. You can see on the console there, it's an XTS and it's a shallow bay made by Nautic Star. You see on the aft end, it has a swim platform. That's for wade fishing, obviously. It's got the 2014 Yamaha 150. It's been very reliable, very good motor. Eight foot power pole. That's my dog panning in case you can hear that. It's got a McLean trailer. come up here and give you a tour of the interior. It's got an igloo ice chest underneath, four rocket launchers. It has storage underneath, underneath the seat. You can see the console, steering wheel, instrumentation. It has a stereo. Uh -huh. The stereo that's a remote control for the power pole and there's a uh it bluetooth and there is a charger in there with a plug for charging your telephone speaker on each side two speakers you see vertical rod storage that goes up through the t-top goes up through the holes in the t-top um two lawrence's uh one's the elite seven high def and uh, this one, I, I installed that one after the fact. This rotates around so that you can see it from the forward end. If you're fishing up front, I like to know. I like to stop. I don't like to have to constantly bother my fishing partner, whoever's with me, and ask what a depth is if we're doing a drift or something like that. Seats and storage underneath. That's where you keep your uh, tackle boxes. Here is the uh, live well, and here is access to underneath, and that is the power pole pump there, and you can see there's access here uh, underneath the bilge, and there as well. Of course, it's got running lights, rod holders, a couple of rod holders back there on the aft end, um, as we walk up forward, there is a second live well, and of course this is removable. Uh, some guys don't like a seat forward, but have the pedestal. I use that as a leaning post up there, not as a true seat when I fish up here. It's got a Minn Kota. Uh, 101 pound thrust uh, trolling motor on the forward end. Let's see, this is, this is the insulated box for fish. When you catch fish, if you catch fish, this is just additional storage. Forward end on the storage. And these are matching rod boxes on each side. You can see that there's, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of bright, but uh, that's where you keep rods or other items. And the shallow bay has an extra storage unit down here, and that's where you keep your uh, cast net. Uh, the XTS, I don't think it has that, the standard XTS, but the shallow bay does have that. Running lights over here on the side. And underneath here is batteries is uh, where I can, where the batteries for the trolling motor are kept. But uh, everything works. Uh, it's been a very good boat to me. Uh, we live one block from Clear Lake, and so it's uh, very convenient for us. We uh, we just run around the corner, drop it in the water, go troll through the Kima Channel, and. Uh, do those kind of things as well as uh, fish in the area and been a very reliable boat. I am ready to move up to a bigger boat. I want to uh, do some things farther across the bay, which uh, which just the bigger boat will, will suit me better in those atmospheres. But at any rate, here's five minutes of a video tour. Thank you.